所以这个法名与法号咯，佛教它有一句这样的成语叫做“一法二戒三剃度”，法师、佛师、全法的师傅是排在第一位的，也是最受尊重的。第二个就是受戒的师傅排在第二位，最后才是剃度师傅。那么就是说，刚才教授跟大家讲的，我们大家今天能够在夹山。呃，得到了王师、王老师的《易筋经》的大法，所以就是有一句嘱托大家的，就是说，怎么样把这个《易筋经》的这个大法咯传承下去，所以这个法脉是非常关键。He says in the three ways of transmission, of the three different master discipleship relationships, the one that is the most important thing is the person who teaches you. How to actually do something. After that comes the taker of the vows. After that comes the one who puts certain clothes on you or shaves your head. What he's of course saying is he comes back in a very masterful and indirect way. He is saying, "This is your true master. I am just the person who is executing something on the outside." Just, just like everyone is learning. 真一一样的，就是说我们怎么样把三行认证的抚养法，在刘教授这里和海拉博士这里传承好。Um, 真一的。Therefore, he wants to say everything that we learning here is about how to find that source that is the spark of life that is in the universe that creates everything. And that heals everything. That in Chinese medicine is called Yang Qi. That is why Dr. Liu's work is so important with doing this Fu Yang work, supporting the Yang, because it is about the discovery of, this, of the spark of life. Whether it's through the work with the aconite and the cinnamon and the ginger, whether it's through the Shang Han Lun, which is all about how to warm the body, or whether it is through working with the heart. Uh, In the Xingli Liao Bing method, that from most Chinese medicine practitioners would think is crazy, I'm adding that as if it had nothing to do with it. But he says they are all internally completely connected because it's all about the same thing. If we want to continue this, I think everyone has one thing that is most important that we want everyone to do. What is it? 就是每一天能够打坐十分钟、二十分钟，因为做好了以后，你的心静了、定了，就能够生大智慧。那么误解这个三行抚养法，误解《易筋经》这个大法，我觉得是非常有帮助的。So what he suggests you do, because he said you have this amazing opportunity to learn from these people. Who teach you how to read the Shang Han Lun? Who teach you how to practice the Yi Jin Jing? Who uh, teach you how to understand the deeper aspects of Chinese medicine? But it is in your own intuition that can only come to fruition in the moment when your heart is calm. So rather than going out and demanding that you being taught in this or that way. Uh, You want to be quiet and digest what you're being given, and meditate 10 or 20 minutes, not even consciously thinking about what you learned that day. But as you sit in a moment of quietness, the universe will give you the insight. As long as you're sincere, 
will give you the insight of what is so important in what you learned today. And so this is, this is the message of transmission, of receiving real knowledge, real methods that are very concrete, and then making them your own by getting the pointers of the universe in your own process of stilling the heart. There is two big methods in Zen how to still the heart. The first is called Ru Lai Chan, which is the, uh, the Zen of the Buddha of the future. Yulai so that is a method that's very concrete, where you vi literally visualize a, an image of the Rulai body and imagine that you're becoming the, that Buddha, that specific Buddha of the future that rules over the Western paradise uh, himself. Uh, and uh, that, might, that, is a, that is a method that is powerful but is in a certain way limited, limiting in a certain way, because you work with a very specific visualization. The, I'm a practitioner of Zhou Si Chan, which is, which means the ancestral teacher Zen method. And he says that's actually a simple method, but it's very flexible and very intuition-based. Ertingfushi this method is very simple in that you just sit quietly. If you can sit in a double lotus, sit in a double lotus. If you can sit in a simple lotus, sit in a simple lotus. If you can just sit in a you know, position like this, that's okay too, mm -hmm. or even just on a chair with, you know, with your legs on the ground. And that's step one, and then you just, the only thing you do is to listen to your breath, your ears, listen to the breath that you take through your nostrils and your eyes behind closed lids look at your heart. If happy thoughts come, let them come and let them go. If negative thoughts come, let them come and let them go. Um, that is the method in one simple sentence. That is what you practice during eating too. Like when you sit and we wait for the food while you're eating, while you're waiting at the end after you're already done, you should be practicing that. That's what you do as a monk. That's also called Zhu Shi Chan. You listen, you observe your heart, you, you listen to your breath, uh, that is what you're supposed to do while you're eating. 
，全身心都在病人的身上，这也叫做走失禅。When you treat a patient and all of your attention is on the patient's body and his gestalt and his breath, that is also called zu shi chan, the ancestral Zen method. 睡觉的时候不做梦，睡得呼呼大觉了，这个也是走失禅。When you sleep completely at peace without any disturbing dreams, uh, that is also a type of Zen meditation. That is what we call in, in Zen Buddhism. Walking, you practice that. Ju it means like living in one place, being meaning being at your home and doing work at your home. 就是你坐下来的时候 Especially when you sit down, no matter what you do, that is what you practice. 睡觉的时候 When you sleep, that is what you practice. 都是禅 All of this is Zen practice. 所以走失禅来讲呢，我想大家都可以慢慢在我们生活当中去体会。So he's hoping that in these two or three weeks that we at the temple, we get enough of a flavor, and we have enough quietness uh, during this time that we can experience the essence of that and can take it back into our everyday lives. So, Buddhism is not esoteric. Buddhism is a wonderful tool, you can call it that. But it is not something that should escape understanding or has no practical merit in your life. It should be something that's immediately graspable and something that you can immediately use in your everyday life. 他神圣在哪里呢？就是我们在座的每一个人都可以沉浮着走。Because the practical thing is that with things you do anyway every day, you can use them with a different state of approach, with a different state of consciousness, to bring out your Buddha light. Or in the words of the Confucian tradition that we're about to enter into in a few days, to bring out your true heavenly nature. 这个就我们和我们大家小时候到教堂去，你不可能成为上帝。上帝是高高在上的，他说我这个学佛的人都是，你可以坐在那个台子上面去。This is from his perspective.、Uh, you know, this is、uh, he said from my limited perspective of understanding、uh, God-based religions is. That you and God are on a different level, whereas in Buddhism, he says, the point of Buddhism is that you are the Buddha already, and you're just remembering how to bring that out. So he says, the figure up there, when I bow to that, I'm bowing to the Buddha that resides inside of me.、Um, that is, of course. Yeah, this this is. Oh no, no, no! This is oh, this is great. Oh, oh, oh. This is so. Learning people, have this ability to take on, to take on, to take on, to take on, to take on. That is, of course, on the negative side or positive side, if you will. It means all of the responsibility for enlightenment is with you. You're not waiting for some clouds to part and some booming voice to touch you and elevating you to paradise. But the minute you decide that you want to change your life,、uh, you have that power. You make that change. You are already on that path to enlightenment. 
，你有这样的精神，那么学真医、学心理疗病、学抚养法，才真正有成就。If you have that kind of approach, then whether you learn the classics of Chinese medicine, whether you learn the herbs of the Shanghai Lun, whether you learn the Jin Jin Gong, or whether you learn the uh, method that we are about to learn from Master Liu in a few days, um, all of this will help you in your achievement of this uh, attainment of what in Buddhism is called the, the Buddha light state. In Zen, as long as your heart is settled, wisdom will come from that. Enlightenment will come from that. That is really the essence of Zen, that you look for the settled heart. And you use every chance you have in your work in the garden, in your sitting, and working on something else, in cooking and sleeping, whatever you do, you look for a way to settle the heart. Because when the heart is settled, your Buddha nature will rise to the surface. Fujiao 你说是绝对的善人那么你就会执着了绝对的善人你就会执着了绝对的善人你就会执着了绝对的善人你就会执着了绝对的善人你就会执着了绝对的善人你就会执着了绝对的善人你就会执着了绝对的善人你就会执着
Uh, so the first thing for the Zen practitioner is to recognize that rather than judging things in terms of good or bad or black and white, is that everything that comes in front of you, you recognize as something that exists and is there for a reason and helps you in your process, and that's all. Um, so that is a very important uh, thing to consider for all Buddhist practitioners, not just Zen Buddhist practitioners. 举一个例子，如果说有绝对的因和绝对的阳的话，只有相对的，因为有相对的，所以就像我们遵义里面的一柄藤子或者藤柄一字。In um, Chinese medicine, there is a concept where you use the same medicine to treat many different diseases, or where you use uh, the same medicine to treat different diseases and where you use different diseases being tr <laughs> different disease the same disease being treated like you've got 50 ulcers but rather than treat them with the same medicine what you have in Western medicine you treat it with 50 different methods right and then uh, on the other hand, you've got 50 different diseases, particularly from a modern perspective, but you use the same method like xiao chai hu tang or fu zi li zhong tang to treat that. Um, so that is, um, that means if you, you cannot have that phenomenon if you come from a perspective of absolute ju judgment and absolute truth. Than, than, and which we are striving for very often with modern thinking. So, Sujamunifu,在最后原机,原机之前,他抓了,他那一份沙子,他那手里面,他就问很多的,他的弟子,他说你们看我说话是,说话四十九年,看我说了多少话,有一个弟子问他一下吧,他说师父,你说了四十九
received from Master Wang at that stage, you let it all go completely. At that moment, you've understand the Yi Jin Jin or the true essence of the Jin Jin Gong. And it is at that moment that you will be most grateful to Master Wang, more so than now at the moment where you feel you've received the secret teachings. And that means that is the point when you've really received, when the universe gave you permission to receive the true teaching of the Yi Jin Jin. Otherwise, it is still Master Wang's, but not yours. And if it doesn't become yours, it won't live on in you, because he will be with us only a limited amount of time.